Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 12.1 respiration. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 12.1 you need to state the uses of energy in living organisms and investigate and describe the effect of temperature on respiration in yeast. There's no extended supplement for this lesson. The majority of the processes that take place in cells require energy, which is derived through respiration. Respiration can be defined as a chemical process whereby nutrient molecules like glucose are broken down by enzymes to release usable energy, or ATP. There are two different types of respiration, which we'll cover in our next lesson. Energy-consuming processes in the body include the contraction of muscle cells to produce whole body movements, pump blood around the body, and for peristalsis in the alimentary canal. Energy is also required for the synthesis of proteins from amino acids, the transmission of nerve impulses, cell division, otherwise known as mitosis, and active transport, whereby molecules are moved across cell membranes against a concentration gradient. Energy enables organisms to grow through the formation of new cells or a permanent increase in cell size. It also allows warm-blooded animals to maintain a constant body temperature so that enzyme-controlled reactions continue at a predictable rate. Next, you need to investigate and describe the effect of temperature on respiration in yeast. Add glucose solution and a suspension of dried yeast to a sidearm boiling tube and place in a water bath at a fixed temperature. Leave for a few minutes to allow the contents of the boiling tube to adjust to the temperature of the water bath and then attach a gas syringe to the sidearm. Leave for a set period of time, allowing gas to collect in the syringe, and then record the volume of gas produced. Repeat the process at a range of different temperatures, making sure that all other variables are kept the same. Calculate rate of gas production at each temperature, and plot your results on a graph. Now carbon dioxide collects in the gas syringe because yeast respires. As temperature rises, enzyme activity increases, resulting in a faster rate of respiration and carbon dioxide production. This continues until an optimum temperature is reached, after which enzymes begin to denature and rate of respiration slows. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 12.1, respiration. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 12.2, aerobic and anaerobic respiration.